So I've made it to the lake I'm gonna be fishing this evening and I'm gonna be going after some smallmouth, maybe some largemouth, and I'm gonna be using a great all year around bait tonight. I'm gonna be throwing a Kitek on a Kitek ball head. And the Kitek Easy Shiner I'm gonna be starting off with this evening is in bluegill flash color. And bluegill flash is just one of my favorite colors to use. Because the water here is really clear, I really wanted to use something that was pretty natural. And this bluegill flash color is a pretty natural colored bait. Now, I got this Kitek tied to eight pound fluorocarbon. This is a uh, Sunline Sniper. And then I have that to a medium light St. Croix Premier Rod. And the water here, like I said earlier, is really clear. So I really kind of wanted to downsize my leader line to this eight pound test. Just to help out with the invisibility. And I'm just gonna work this edge here because I know this edge drops right off into about 20 feet and then even further 30 feet. So I'm just gonna work this rocky ledge for now. Kitek four inch Easy Shiner is one of my favorite swim baits to use. It is just, uh, just a super versatile swim bait not only does it have a nice kale tick on a slow retrieve but this even has a body roll as well Got one. I don't think it's very big, but with the eight pound line, I don't want to find out. Uh, it's a little pickerel. Bo, well, this is a cold fish. Hooked him uh, perfectly in the corner right there. Send him right back. That's not what we're looking for. The other side. Come on. No. Well, and I'm like pretty sure that I forgot leader line. Aha, I did not forget leader line. I found it. Eight pound.
got him. He's coming up, he's gonna jump. That was deep. He had to have been in about 20 feet of water. 20, 25. He's a nice large mouth. Oh, I can't flip him. I was about to flip him right there. He wants to get lipped though. Nice. Alright, that is a solid large mouth. <laughs> Look at my little Kitek in there. I'm gonna be needing that, bud. But, as you guys can tell, he's a little bit skinny, but he's fattening up a little bit. In the summertime, these fish get uh, pretty skinny. But as the water cools, they start to fatten up, and that's exactly what's happening here. But not a bad largemouth to uh, start off the evening. Dang. I can see like 15 feet in this clear water. Got one. It's a large mouth. It's a decent large mouth. Right in the snoot, perfect. But look at that little guy, this one is chunky. Put him back. Got one. What's happening? Doesn't know it's hooked. It's not jumping. It's just swimming off into the deep. There it goes. Yeah, I don't think it's very big. I just don't think it knew it was hooked, I guess. No! That's mildly disappointing
I don't know how I lost him. All right, so that is it for this evening. And overall, for only being out here an hour and a half, I think I did pretty well. Unfortunately, I think I missed the two biggest fish this evening, but that's just fishing sometimes. And I was throwing the Kitek Easy Shiner. This is the four inch. And this is the bluegill flash color. I also brought um, another color with me as well. It's called Alewife. And basically th these are the same colors except one's kind of purple and one's kind of blue. The Kitek on a ball head. This is a Kitek ball head as well. It's 3 16 of an ounce. I think if I had an eighth of an ounce, I would have done slightly better not getting snagged up in the rocks, I think. This might have been just slightly too heavy and it was getting stuck in the rocks. But in my unprofessional opinion, when you're fishing like pretty big rocks that have some good size like cracks in between them, I would always try to fish the lightest size possible. If you go too heavy, that heavy weight is just gonna get stuck in the cracks of the rock like every time. I had that ball head tied to Sunline. This is the Sniper FC and this is eight pound line, but that setup is a setup that I'm basically gonna have on at least one of my rods for the rest of the year. A little tiny swim bait on a ball head catches fish all year round. I mean like the day after your lake or pond thaws out, you can use this and catch some fish. And like the day before your pond or lake freezes, you can use this to catch some fish. But thank you guys so much for watching. I come out with videos every single week. Peace.